Hello, in this video, we're going to solve a logarithmic equation with two logarithms. So the question is to solve log base eight of x plus one minus log base eight of x, and this is equal to two. So we have to solve this logarithmic equation. Let's go through it, solution. So to solve an equation like this, we're gonna use one of the properties of logarithms. Because we have two logs and we have a minus sign, this indicates that we probably should use something called the quotient rule. The quotient rule says if you have the log of m minus the log of n, and m and n are positive numbers, it's really important, this is equal to the log of m over n. Now the positive number part is gonna be important later, but you know, for this to make sense, as x, has to, x plus 1 has to be positive, and this means that x has to be positive. So both of those things have to be true in this problem. But we can just wait till the end to check by plugging in our answers and making sure that they're correct. Anyways, let's go ahead and apply this quotient rule here to our problem. So this is our m, and this is our n. So this will be the log base 8 of, so it's m over n, so it's x plus 1 over x, and that's equal to two. Beautiful stuff. This is a logarithmic equation. So this is said to be in logarithmic form. We want this in what's called exponential form. So what we can do is we can write it as follows. Eight to the second power is equal to all of this stuff. So eight squared is equal to x plus one over x. And let's keep going here. We can simply keep going by working it out. So 8 squared is 64. So we have x plus 1 over x. Let's clear this fraction by multiplying both sides by x. So we have 64x equals x plus 1. To solve for x, we want all the x's on one side by themselves. So we'll subtract x, subtract x. So we have 63x equals 1. And then uh, dividing both sides by 63 gives us x equals 1 over 63. And that, my friends, would be the final answer. Now, let's check it. Let's just, let's just check this uh, to make sure that it is a legitimate answer. Um, so here's our original problem. Log base 8 of x plus 1 minus log base 8 of x equals 2. All right, so to check this, we're going to take this number, 1 over 63, and put it everywhere we see an x. So checking, 1 over 63. I'm writing that down just you know, if you're doing this for like a classroom or something. You want to let the reader know what you're doing. All right. So plugging in 1 over 63 for all of the x's gives us log base 8 of 1 over 63 plus 1 minus log base eight of one over 63. And, and then we don't know if that's equal to two. Uh, we, have to, we have to show that, right? We're gonna, we're gonna messed up there. All right. So adding these, uh, think of one as 63 over 63. And the reason we do that is because we want a common denominator to add these. So this is log base eight of one plus 63 is 64 over 63 minus, and then here we have log base eight of one over 63. Okay, let's continue. So now we can apply the quotient rule. So this is equal to log base eight. So 64 over 63, I'm gonna put it in parentheses, over one over 63. The parentheses are really important because you have fractions. So it's really, really important to be clear what's being divided, right? You're taking the quantity or the number, the fraction, 64 over 63, and you're dividing it by the number one over 63. So it's very important to, to have that, right? To have those parentheses. When you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal, right? So this is log base eight of 64 over 63 times 63 over one, right? Because dividing by one over 63 is the same thing as multiplying by 63 over one. These cancel, so this is equal to log base 8 of 64. And you say 8 to what power is 64? 2, and boom, we're done because that's exactly what we wanted. So the answer does check, and so indeed the answer is x equals 1 over 63. Kind of an interesting problem, and I think checking the answer was harder than actually solving it. 
I hope it's been helpful to you. Take care.